Today's review is on a classic series that changed the world forever, now making a comeback with a remake. Let's get things started! Game review all set, ready, go! Quick Run Reviews presents A Resident Return. Welcome to the drought of games that is January, and trust me, it's the same thing with movies, where the only freaking games I can review are remakes and remasters, but this classic remastered franchise is right up my alley. Hi, I'm Jordan, host of Alter Element Games, and this is Resident Evil HD. Press this way. In 2002, Capcom released a remake of the first Biohazard, or known here in the States as Resident Evil. The remakes feature all new graphics and sound, and incorporates gameplay elements from the later installments, such as allocating body language to indicate the main character's health when in danger, and the 180 degree turn. In addition, it introduced a new running style that was used in future games like Resident Evil Zero. Well, all of that is here and more in the HD remastered version of Resident Evil evil for the 8th generation. The graphics are prettier, crisper, and show off a lot more of the darker tone than usual. So here's the upside. Tight controls for casual and hardcore. Fresh refined graphics for those buttery smooth, nice textures with a nice atmosphere. Tuned up gameplay with better hit detection AI, an overall gaming experience, and cool modes like survivor mode and others that brings on the atmosphere and continues the legacy that Resident Evil brings. Also there's a little treat. Newer players and older players with changing the skin of Chris and Jill from the old ones to the uh, BSA costumes or skins from later titles like Resident Evil 5 and Resident Evil 6. And at last, the final verdict. For the gameplay grade, I'm giving it a B to B plus for casual players and a solid A for the fans of the series who remember this game from pure nostalgia. The replay value is at a mid-level with the two campaigns of Chris and Jill and for the other game modes as well. And the consumer report is a full price collect for your library if you're a fan. But if you're one of the newer fans of the newer generation, go ahead and rent it out and see how the experience is for you. If you like it, then go ahead and buy it at full price. It's not too much either. It's $19.99. And that's it for the review. I'll see you guys next time here at Alter Element Games. Peace out. Next time on Alter Element Games, two worlds collide as parkour and survival horror takes the reins. In review, next week of Dying Light, we trek the world close to the edge of doom. Who will survive? Be sure to tune in next time on this intense action, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you next time, Cafe LA, we're out of here. Alter Element Games, where gameplay is everything.